In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix the overlap issue with our build system. So if you have been following the tutorial by now, you must have something like this in your game. In the last part of the video, I had a great response and a lot of you wanted me to resolve the overlapping issue. So yeah, I just made another part. We have these flows and wall and stair that we are using to visualize where we are placing our uh, buildings so yeah uh, in this we have a cube object like you must have it by now if you have been following the tutorial series so i've simply added another script for check overlap into this and in inside check overlap there's a boolean a public boolean overlap and a string tag so basically the for the floor visualizer the tag is going to be floors and for the wall it's going to be wall and for the stair it's going to be stairs so if you remember the we are checking these tags with the actual objects because these tags are set there when these objects will be instantiated we can check if the visual are visualizing blocks are uh, overlapping with those blocks in that case the overlap would be true and on trigger exit it will become false so let, let me just show you what i'm trying to say here let's let's say let's build a stair right here okay now if i'm if i'm gonna try to make a stair like this it won't work like i'm tapping and trying to make a stair right now but it won't work you can see so it's not gonna overlap anymore that was the only issue that we had to fix back to the unity editor let me just show you how i am using this overlap boolean to check whether it's being overlapped so right before we are instantiating our blocks I'm checking whether the in the check overlap whether the overlap is true then we are returning so when the player is trying to press the mouse button and this uh, block is getting instantiated we don't want that to happen unless there is uh, unless it's not being overlapped on it will only happen if it's not being overlapped so yeah that's that's the simplest way to go about it now over here you can in the inspector window you can see the overlap boolean to see when it's true so it's true right now but now it's not true it's false again it's true if i happen to go here it's false again as you can see here so i won't be able to build if it's true now another thing that i want to tell you guys is that you might have to scale these visualizing blocks a bit down so you might have to scale them down a bit the value was 1.5 before the reason why i'm doing this is so when the when it's being collided with the edges of those blocks i don't want them to be not able to be placed so that's that's the only thing about it I hope like this is the most simplest way to fix that overlapping issue. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Rest all the code has been same as before. So yeah, thank you. You can also do this when the player is pressing the mouse button down. So when get mouse button zero is happening, at that time you can check whether it's overlapping or not if it's not overlapping then you can instantiate i know getting component like this is in the most optimized way but like you can you can, this was just to give a quick overview you can like find a better and optimized way by making a list and adding all the check overlap components in the list so yeah that's that's all about it I hope you liked this video, please leave a thumbs up if it was helpful to you and do subscribe for other videos. Thank you.